Hi, just a little video today um, on some new field notes booklets that I've just picked up from um, bureaudirect.co.uk. Um, I've done a little review of these sort of products before, but um, I thought it'd be worth an update. Um, these are great products if you haven't come across them before. Little notepads. What I've got here is the pitch black version and a mixed set of three in graph, ruled and plain paper. So field notes booklets are American made products. Um, they sort of hark back to um, sort of good quality pocket journals. Um, there's not a lot on their web page to say what their background is but really it just seems to be that their purpose in life is to bring back um, the art of writing, bring back um, pocket journals. So let's have a quick look at these See what's in the packet. I say this is a, a mixed bag of three. Just check out their little motto there. I'm not writing it down to remember it later, I'm writing it down to remember it now. I'm not sure if I understand that. Anyway, I'm probably missing something obvious there. Um, so as I say, this is a set of three um, in graph, lined, and completely plain. So just taking a look at these ones first. In the front side you've got some sort of information about yourself, should you uh, lose your booklet. Not sure if you'd realistically stand any chance of getting it back, depends what's in it I suppose. And then in the back side you've got a bit about their history. So that's where I uh, get the understanding that they're trying to bring back the pocket notebook. You've got some suggested partially humorous uses of the notebooks and then you've got the spec, so how they're put together. Okay, you've also got a little ruler in inches, so um, not 100% useful for us in the UK because I don't live my life in uh, Imperial, I live in my life in uh, metric. But that's the, uh, that's the pack of three. So looking at the pitch black now I'm expecting it just to be exactly the same. I don't think there's going to be any different information on the inside, but let's take a look. So as opposed to the, uh, the graph ruled and plain, these are dotted. I guess that will be the description of that. Let's just get one of these out. Some reason they feel a little bit, a little bit thicker. Same number of pages, 48 pages. Maybe it's the covers which are thicker. There, you've got the same information in there, and the same information at the back. Okay, but a nice, different sort of colour scheme on the front there. So generally, the Field Notes products seem to come out in this single size, which is around about the the sort of A6, it's probably some strange imperial size, but about A6 would be the best description for it. Find a little card there. Get on the list. So as I say, around about A6. Um, good pocket size, so about the jeans pocket size. Um, in general, I think these are sort of best known for really being compatible with a good ball pen, uh, ballpoint pen. Um, they're not a perfect bedfellow for a uh, for a fountain pen. However, I have used these extensively before, and uh, in fact, I'll show you how I use it. What I tend to do is I tend to pop them in my um, sort of pocket, sort of carry uh, Maxpedition pouch. This is a micro pocket organizer. 
and it doesn't quite fit perfectly. I, I did trim it down. I'm sure there's a, uh, a larger sort of pocket organiser which will fit, but I did trim it down a little bit. But as you can see, um, lots of uh, faint and pen writing in there. And actually, I don't find it an issue. And I'll show you. I think uh, probably it's fair to say you've got to pick your pen, really. Um, so if we try something like this Twisby Eco, and this has got um, Noodler's Catfish Black in there. It's a fine nib. Um, perfectly adequate, but certainly not wet. I don't think you'd describe it as. You can see there's no feathering or anything like that. Hasn't really gone through the page. You can see a sort of outline, but I think you'd see that with any ink. So that's up pretty okay with that fine nib and that particular ink. On the Nami 2000 here, I think this has got Mont Blanc um, Mystery Black in it. Again, a fine nib. It might be medium, I can't remember. Again, a little bit of feathering. I'll probably sort of put a bit of pressure on that. That's bleeding through a little. What really won't work is something like this uh, this Noodler's Comrade, which is in Ebonite, which has got a flex a flex nib, um, which puts down a pretty wet line. Um, this has got Ackerman's Royal Blue, and if you see the amount of ink that's going down with that, that that will probably feather out quite a lot. So, is it the perfect paper for fountain pens? No, it isn't. But if you're a strong fountain pen advocate, like I am, um, you will find something that works. So, something like the Eco there, um, with pretty much any ink on that pen, I reckon, be okay. So, as I say, um, nice little notebooks. Um, not that easy to get in the UK. Um, so, do check out bureaudirect.co.uk because they, they carry a good range of these normally. And uh, a lot of other good stuff, but... Yeah, there's not a lot of places in the UK which get, where you can pick these up with ease. Um, certainly not on the high street. Um, but yeah, I really like them. And they're really useful. What I tend to use them for is, as I say, carry one around. And uh, that particular one, I keep my notes for YouTube videos in. So ju just little things, observations that I want to jot down day to day. Um, yeah, useful stuff. And uh, if you're looking for a pocket book, notebook, you could do a lot worse. Okay, hope that's helpful. Bye-bye.